Hey guys, it's Dr. Robonic64. I'm back here in Celestia again, and mainly what I'm going to be doing in this video is that I'm going to be showing off a recent discovery that has to do with this star right here that you're seeing on the screen. A discovery that is puzzling astronomers around the world. And here's what the discovery is. About a week and a half ago, a group of astronomers at the University of Arizona discovered an exoplanet orbiting around this star. The exoplanet's name being HD 106906b. Now here in Celestia, if I zoom out really far away from the star, as you can see, an orbit comes into view. Now, this exoplanet is not actually implemented into the most recent version of Celestia. I actually added the exoplanet into Celestia myself by editing the game's files. And it may not be 100% accurate, but this should at least give you an idea of what the uh, exoplanet is like and how it orbits around its parent star. The thing that uh, is baffling astronomers around the world about this exoplanet is that it's orbiting approximately 650 astronomical units from its parent star. And many astronomers believe, or used to believe anyway, that it was impossible for a planet to be orbiting this far away from its parent star. Mainly because most astronomers did not believe that a star's protoplanetary disk could be large enough so that a planet could form this far away from its parent star. And for the record, just for those of you who don't know what a protoplanetary disk is, protoplanetary disk is basically a disk of gas that rotates around a newly formed star, and generally planets and moons form out of protoplanetary disks. And that's really all that's been puzzling uh, astronomers about this exoplanet, the fact that it's orbiting so far away from its parent star. Now normally this would be where I end the video off, because that's really all that's been puzzling astronomers about this uh, newly discovered planet here. But there is some more information that I would like to share with you about this uh, exoplanet. The exoplanet's parent star is a class F5 star. Uh, its mass is roughly one and a half times the sun's mass, and it's about six times brighter than the sun. The exoplanet orbiting around the star is estimated to be about 11 times the mass of Jupiter, with a surface temperature of approximately 1800 degrees Kelvin. It's also located approximately 300 light years away in the constellation Crux. And another thing that I really found interesting is that somebody actually created a petition on the website change.org asking for the International Astronomical Union, or IAU for short, to name the planet Gallifrey. Now, for those of you who don't know what Gallifrey is, it's basically uh, the home world of the Doctor from Doctor Who. Now, I've never watched Doctor Who before, actually, so I can't really... Uh, say whether or not that's a good idea. If you do want to check out the petition itself, I can link you guys to uh, the petition in the description of this video. Um, for those of you who are fans of Doctor Who, do you think this is a good idea to name the planet Gallifrey? Let me know in the comments section. And a lot of people have already signed the petition as well. Last time I checked, 129,000 people signed the petition. And now that's pretty much all I have to say about uh, this new exoplanet here. Oh, and actually, I forgot to mention, if you're wondering how far away 650 astronomical units is, keep in mind that one astronomical unit is equivalent to how far away the sun is from the Earth, which is approximately 150 million kilometers. So multiply 150 million kilometers by 650, which is approximately 97 billion kilometers. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this exoplanet. So how far away it's orbiting from its parent star has been puzzling a lot of astronomers recently. Like, how could, how is this possible? How is it possible that it's orbiting so far away from its parent star? I probably couldn't tell you even if I was an astronomer, but anyway. That's pretty much all I have to say here, so still can give you guys the links to uh, where you can download Celestia because, like I said, the website pretty much no longer exists, as in the uh, official Celestia website no longer exists. But if you want to view more information about this newly discovered exoplanet, uh, I posted a few links in the description of this video. You can also check out the petition to name the planet Gallifrey after the homeworld of the Doctor from Doctor Who in the description as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video then. So this is Dr. Robonic64, thank you for watching, if you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or subscribe. Also feel free to follow me on Twitter, check out my Google Plus page as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to both of these places. Links to my Twitter and Google Plus account are in the description of all my videos including this one. That's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later!